Are you guys ready for this? Were you up late studying? I'm so fucking okay. pumped, dude. I've been gonna, cramming. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to read the question. You have to wait until I am done reading, even if it seems like I should be done already. Do not interrupt me cool. at any time. And uh, you ring in by saying your own name. All right? Okay. Are you ready? Ryan. Cassie. Ryan. Yes. 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 You are ready. Yes. Okay. So then Ryan has five points. All Fuck right. I yes, heard Cassie dude. as well. Yeah, I'm slowly getting ready. You are also, but you're not quite ready. Not quite. Okay, negative 10 mm-hmm. points. Fair enough. All right, Taylor. I didn't hear Taylor, so you don't get to answer. All right. Wait, Taylor's too ready. This is freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, Taylor, he's this? like in the <laughs> zone, man. He's just staring right at me. This, I've, I'm going to confess to something. All right. Who is David's father, and has he appeared on the show? <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Uh, Charles Xavier? Yes. And like in a cartoon, sort of? In a cartoon, and also kind of like his... The like, back of his uh, head? Yeah, a little his leg. Bit, Yeah, and a little bit of his wheelchair, mm-hmm. which that was from season one, and when I saw that, I like shouted at my wife for 10 minutes about it. <laughs> um, so. Do you know that if that was an actual wheelchair Yoda actor, or did they just put someone in a chair? I don't even think they had somebody in a chair. I just think they had the chair there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, wow. They, they I, weren't even going to pay that. someone. To sit in. So Ryan jumps out to what I think is a commanding lead. Is it done? Like, is it too big of a lead to continue? Oh, no. We, there's actually more questions. Okay. I okay. had more questions than that. Uh, number two, what mental illness does David have on the show? Ryan. Ryan. Handsomeness. <laughs> Dude. Okay. <laughs> That's wrong, but also it's like so right. It's real right. Yeah. And also, sometimes they have him speaking in his English accent, uh-huh. which, whoo. Mercy. You guys want to take a stab at this, though? Nope. Okay. Mm. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. <laughs> It's schizophrenia. You guys probably didn't know because that's not actually what schizophrenia is like. But they just schizophrenia is like if you're going to give a character a mental illness, uh, you just say you just schizophrenia. Sch- yeah. Okay. Was that the name of our improv troupe we were going to start? Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, number three. What mental illness did he have in the comic? What mental illness did he have in the comic? The comic Legion. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, is it uh, the legacy virus? It is not the legacy virus. That's wrong. Okay. That Cassie? Is, oof, that's so wrong. Cassie. <laughs> schizophrenia. No, not schizophrenia. You had a different disease. That's oof, disheartening. You guys are... Those are wrong. Taylor, I don't, I don't you know. said you were know. so ready for this, and yeah. you just look like... You're just shit in the bed, bud. Yeah, I, don't, just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's a disassociative <laughs> identity disorder, or multiple personalities. <laughs> oh, like, he did. Yeah, Legion, right? Because he's, cause he's multiple, Legion. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, okay, it's fine. Did there. it's fine. Trivia's tough. Trivia's tough. I'm sure you guys don't even have your DSM-5 out. All right. Number four, David's girlfriend is named after which rock star? Ryan. Ryan. Sid Vicious? Sid. Knee not Vicious. vicious. Mm. She got yeah, the I first see. and last name. Post Malone? Not Post Malone. <laughs> but you know what? That's. I like that. Uh, Taylor. I'm so going to say plus 10. So you're, just, you're at zero now. Taylor? Sid Barrett. Sid Barrett. Yes. And which band was he in? Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No. She she was alias, right? Sid Barrett is <laughs> from Pink Floyd. Oh. Pink Floyd. So let me ask you, question number five, what is Pink Floyd's best song? Taylor. Ryan. I think I hear Taylor first. Uh, that would be uh, Money? No. Oh, sorry. No, I don't yeah, no. That's it's it's in That's it's, a pretty mainstream answer. It's in it's in a <laughs> it's in a four seven time signature. Does that no, I don't think you can get the question wrong and then okay. try to sound smart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know if that changed your. your anybody? Answer. Anybody want to? Ryan. Ryan. Uh, Stairway to Heaven. Oh God, <clears throat> that's so frustrating. Because no. I know how close I was. Yeah, because it's second. Their second <laughs> best song is their cover of Stairway to Heaven. So just no, like it is. Uh, their their best song is actually Shine on You Crazy Diamonds, parts one through four. Parts one through four. All right. That's actually that's right. That's actually that right. is right. Put on that song and tell that's me that right. that's yeah. that's not right. It's that's not actually how you say it's it. It's the though. first track on "Wish You Were Here," which oh, is, is the best Pink Floyd album by it, like a billion. It really, "Wish You Were Here" the title track is incredible. "Wish You Were Here" is is very good. I mean, it, there's like not the "Welcome to the Machines" on that. There's not a bad track on that. No, even the other "Shine On You Crazy Diamonds" parts uh, five through ten are really good. Yeah. What and the fuck? And it's great because it's an entire album where they wanted to move on and do something different. And the studio was like, "No, just make another." Just like Dark the Side of the thing. Moon, and they're like, "Well, all these songs are going to be fuck used to the studio." It's but so it's much still better. Be great. It's so much better than Dark Side of the Moon. It's a great album. It's so much better than Dark Side of the Moon. Okay, Noah Hawley, creator of the series, first created what other series for FX? Ryan. Cassie. Ryan. Fargo. Fargo. Fargo, very good, Ryan. Ryan's doing great, you guys. I just, I just want to say, I was, pre- I thought I was prepared, but none of these questions are about the element Krypton. Yeah, that's so, the thing. Yeah, well, I'll so, try to work one in here near the end. I got to say real quick, it, I think it's crazy that Greg 
would like compliment me like that, and then you two would just sit there silent with no follow up compliments. Also, just ju- just jump in with a compliment. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Dan Stevens starred in a popular TV show about a posh English family. What hilarious name did Greg give this show? Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Dan Stevens' time in Britain. <laughs> Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. I, that sounds like. Sounds like Greg style. Anybody else? Cassie. Cassie. Holy crumpets. <laughs> Holy crumpets. That's right. Greg called. No, actually, it's. Uh, Boy, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Toonton Abbey. No. It was. Uh, it's. It, the show is Downton Abbey, but I would say down town. Oh, shit, uh, dude. Uh, I, my, Schizophrenia. <laughs> my wife and I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, all right. And there's Greg's wife now. <laughs> Get out of here. This show is visually stunning. Who is the most visually stunning person, according to Pantless Greg? Cassie. Cassie. Greg? No, that is that is such a good answer. Yeah. I like where your head's That's at. That's knowing your host I got right it. there. Yeah, yeah. dude. I, I like where your Taylor. head's at. Taylor. Ptolemy. Ta- no. no. Ryan? Ryan? Uh, is it Aubrey Plaza? It's not Aubrey Plaza. It is my wife, Kelly. Oh, my most God damn it. Stunning per- <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So you guys, precious. you got it. Yeah, you got to be ready. Was, that was yeah. a softball. That was you right guys, out there You got to be ready for it. You got to be ready for it. All right. Legion features the Shadow King. The Crimson King is found in what series of books? Taylor. Taylor? Is that uh, the books based on King Crimson, the prog rock band? <laughs> uh, it kind of is, yeah, actually. But Ryan. Ryan? The Stand? Oh, that's so close to you guys. You're right there. Think of the stand, Stephen King. It's the Dark Tower series, you Fucking guys. Shit. The Dark Tower series. I've only read one in one quarter of those books. I only read the novelization of the movie oh, of man. Dark Tower. Yeah, well, that was good too. That was not bad. But uh, if you want to read a book, Wait, consider hold on. that one. You said that it is sort of like he's such a big King Crimson fan that he named a character after that band. I think so. The guy's called Crimson King. Wow. It's hard to say. it's hard to imagine. I think he opened the phone book. <laughs> He saw the name of the band. Wait, the phone book of bands? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would like, like that. That's the band phone book? What's Pink Floyd's phone number? I'm going to check that out. All right. So this one, this is kind of weird. This doesn't happen that much, but I, I wanted to go with it. Uh, we actually got an email from a listener uh, <sighs> called Sexy Smart Riddler. And Sexy Smart Riddler's question is, Jermaine Clement likes a kiwi in the fruit aisle and is a kiwi on his home aisle. How is this possible? Taylor. Taylor. Uh, he eats fruits, and he's also from New Zealand. He's from New Zealand. He's wow. a Kiwi. Isn't that fun? That's uh, isn't that horrifyingly racist? Uh, what I just said? Well, what the emailer said. Oh, yeah, the emailer. I don't know. Uh, there were some pretty racist things in that email, so <laughs> pr- I'm going to guess, yeah, it was pretty upsetting. So you cut oh, all the no. racism out and then still left Kiwi. Yeah, I just wrote down sexy smart Riddler and then the Kiwi stuff, because I hadn't heard it referred to as racist before that. I well, think we say the K word, but... <laughs> Is it their word? All right. Oliver Bird, who is played by Jermaine Clement, once donned a deep sea diving suit reminiscent of what hit video game that panelist Shit. Ryan once described as the one where you're a dirty astronaut hanging out with little girls? Taylor. Taylor. Bioshock. Bioshock. That Hey-oh. question was designed for me not to get. I don't know the name of the game. That is. All righty. Uh, question number 13. Telekinesis would be super valuable for a baseball player. Explore. Ryan. Taylor. Ryan. Um, well, basically, you control the ball, and so every pitch is a strikeout. I like well, it. Well, three pitches would be a strikeout. That's uh-huh. how baseball works. Every it still hit couldn't is a home just run. be one. If you're playing in the outfield, every ball you can just control right into mm-hmm. your glove. There's really like nothing it. that you couldn't be great at if you have telekinesis, Kyle. I like Very good. Very good. You guys want to ring Taylor. in on any yourself, Taylor? Uh, I think it would be fun if you like you threw the ball, but then you like stopped it right before they swung, and then you just didn't move it, and then they're like, do I... And then blow your cover immediately? No, 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 no. You, well, I mean, yeah, you do blow your cover, but then, like, you've got telekinesis, so, like, what do you fucking care? Well, you care because you're trying to be the best fucking baseball player. Is it weird to hear that word without the word Kyle right after yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's, hard, up, to, right? it's hard to even <laughs> say it without the word Kyle right after it. All right, well, Ryan did really great on that one, but uh, you guys really shit the bed. So, Ryan, you're up to 10. 10 points? <laughs> well, no, you got 10 for that. I'm sorry. That oh, okay. puts you at 20 total. Uh, did, I'll give you your quick real-time totals. Ryan has 20. Taylor has 2,500. Yep. And <laughs> Cassie, as our guest, you are at zero. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. okay. That tracks. Uh, yeah. 14. This cast genuinely, genuinely compliments each other. Can you genuinely compliment me? Taylor. Taylor? Greg, I just want to say that you have the kindest demeanor. And you are just a really good guy and you always you tell it like it is oh you, you, you didn't have to say that you have beautiful you eyes oh 
Oh, keep going. Just, no, you you're just, good. Leave some for the rest of it. I want to, because I I, everyone can ring in right. on this But one. you are just a genuinely good person. I'm glad to have you in my life. He's Listen, stealing I, all of them. I know. He don't take. He's done. Okay. You guys? Uh, Cassie? Cassie? Greg, you kill it on Twitter. Oh, and my You're God, so good Cassie, on Twitter. You say that. Yeah. <laughs> He's so embarrassed here. Okay. <laughs> That's 10,000 points. Ryan. Ryan. You go ahead, Ryan. Greg. Yes? <laughs> I think you have the best taste uh-huh. in co-podcasters. Because of Cassie? Sure. Okay, cool. I mean, lots of reasons. That wasn't... Um, Thanks, guys. I feel like that was not... Um, that wasn't really for me. Okay. Uh, so that question was obviously a joke, but can you guys each go again? I, I, I really need this right now. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Um, you just always... You bring a positive attitude wherever you go, and you just brighten the room, and um, I, you're, you're maybe one of the people that I look forward to seeing most every week. Man, that's... It's really wow. just, just nice to hear. It's just nice to hear. I, can really I mean, it's true. It's, it's just really nice to hear. from the heart, and I'm glad that you gave me this platform in order to compliment you like this. Oh. Oh. All right. Anybody else? You guys, like, you have another shot of this. This could be for everything. Go ahead, Cassie. What do you got? Um, Greg, you got a really good clipboard. First of all, your style, great. Love it. Um, if you're if you're listening at home and you can't see the clipboard for some reason, just imagine a baller clipboard. It's so baller. Yeah. It's got a clip. It's a board. It is, and, I, and I'm not trying to... It holds my here. pencils. It's Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. I appreciate all the compliments, buddy, but you're done. Ryan, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know if this is revealing too much behind the curtain, but uh, Greg, I think you're super good at um, like 10 years ago, 12 years ago when I had a girlfriend and uh-huh. you said, hey, I'm Greg, and now you're married to her. That was, oh, yeah. that was super cool. Of You're good at that sort yeah. of thing. Thanks for scouting out of that territory for yeah. me. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that is the last question. We are done. Let's see. The winner is, God, you're not going to believe this, it's Cassie. Cassie, uh, one. congratulations, it's Cassie. You get your own cool clipboard, Thank but you. you have to share it with everybody else at Unnatural 20s.